Welcome back, eh? This is the Canadian Silver Seeker, and I hope you guys are having another great day like I am. I just got back from my weekly LCS trip. I figured I'd make a quick video and fill another tube. I've been pretty similar in my videos lately. I buy $5, a junk Canadian... 80% silver and 25 cent form every week lately. Um, that's going to be my plan going forward. So videos are getting a little boring. It's the same thing every week. Well, what did I get? I got myself $3 a King George the Sixth effigy. I got $2 a Queen Elizabeth and her first effigy. And he gave me an extra 25 cents in the bag this week. I got a 1966 Queen Elizabeth II and her second effigy. So $5.25. Uh, just over 3 ounces. 3 ounces at $5. That's going to allow me to roll a roll of King George there. Um been saying in some of my videos he's been uh, sorting them looks like this week he didn't for me which was awesome he gave me random um which you're not gonna see for a couple weeks yet because my videos are in queue and i'm gonna throw this one in amongst and why i'm gonna throw this one in amongst is because there's a challenge out there i saw it I've already made two videos about my silver buffaloes because I really like the unique different silver buffaloes out there. And it seems like Silver and Cigar has made a challenge to show all your different buffalo rounds. He had 14 different ones. I do not have that many. As you can see, I only have got seven stands in front of us. But I do have some variations on what he and uh, I seen on uh, Send to Georgie's channel. So I would love to share those with you guys. And it honestly sets another fire under my butt. I love different buffaloes and as soon as I saw the video I started looking at different sites and looking at different buffaloes. There's so many more out there that weren't just on uh, Silver and Cigars and my channel and Georgie's. There's so many other different silver, silver buffalo rounds out there that are unique and interesting and I would love to have them all in my stack but you know my ambition always outweighs my wallet it seems like but let's take a look what do we got here i'm gonna go in somewhat the same uh, order as silver cigars and what he had um and uh sent to georgie i'm sure there's some other people out there that have made uh they've responded to the challenge that i haven't gotten to see their videos i'm gonna try to find all of the videos scour them down because i really like this challenge like i say kind of proud of my silver buffaloes every time i buy from a different mint i always check to see what kind of buffalo they have to see if it's one that i don't already have in my stack so the first one i got here is a highland mint silver buffalo this highland mint silver buffalo is slightly different than the one that i seen on both uh, georgie's and uh, silver and cigars channel mine has a date on the back and the mint mark as you can see no liberty and on the front we have one troy ounce uh sent to georgie's had one troy ounce but i believe his might not have had the date on it if i remember correctly yeah and the silver and cigars his actually says silver bullion round atop uh, on the top of it. And his has some incus one troy ounce in here, I believe. Um, this is not incus, as you can see. So his is definitely a different uh, variation than both mine and send to Georgie's, which is very awesome. I definitely have to take a look out for those. If I find them cheap, I'll pick them up eventually as I have the money. So yeah, there's number one, Highland Mint. Number two. Number two, Silvertown. So I noticed uh, 
sent to Georgie and Silver and Scars had basically the same Silver Town Mint one. Mine is slightly different. They had a date on the back of theirs. And if you look really, really closely in there, there is the little pickaxe of the Silvertown mark. Uh, I didn't see that on theirs. It might have been hidden somewhere else on the coin, but I didn't see it in the hairline there. So that was something I thought was a little bit interesting. Other than that, I believe they looked about the same. So there's a Silvertown mint one, number two. Uh, number three, um, the Silvertown Stacker one. I have seen the Silvertown Stacker one before. I just have not picked it up. I just, I don't know, being a stacker, it looked a little different. I kind of like to stay to the generic um, gold buffalo style where it's got this buffalo or something looks very similar to this buffalo and the Indian head that looks very similar to this. So that's why I, I have... Uh, uh, quite a few less than silver and cigars. I've seen some of them and I just uh, didn't pick them up because I, I, I guess I'm a traditionalist. I don't know. That's what I'll say. Just didn't like them. So I do not have the stacker one. It is very similar, um, but just the round edges on it with the stacking like lines. I just, I don't know, for some reason it just didn't appeal to me. So what's the next one? Well, we've got the Sunshine Mint one. Silver and Cigars has this one, and I believe you are right. That is like a special uh, security thing that you can look at with a card or some glasses or something. And yeah, and it uh, apparently will show that it's authentic from the Silvertown Mint. So that's very very cool yeah it says actually if you look in really there really close there mint mark si so yeah very very cool that's number three I believe that one was very similar to what uh, silver and cigars had and I don't believe Santa Georgie had that one uh, number five was the nine fine mint one I do not have the nine fine mint one I have purchased from a uh, bold precious metal or sorry not gold precious metals uh at max before and i they didn't have it i guess at the time um unfortunately i did get a different one i believe i got uh another one coming up here from at max um we'll talk about that one in a bit but they didn't have the one the nine fine mint one so that's definitely one i would like to get in the future uh number six the uh freedom one um, I believe that was an Asahi one that uh, Silver and Cigars had on his channel. Um, just by the look of the mint mark on it, I could be mistaken. Those ones don't have the Indian head on the back of it, so I just, unfortunately, I, I, I just, I've seen them before. I just haven't picked any of them up. Maybe in the future, as I get richer, I'll get more of the Buffalo ones without the Indian head on them. Um, number seven, the golden state mint one this one is actually a beauty i got the golden state mint one um just like silver and cigars um this one is nicely toned this was i had a few golden state mint ones and i uh, sold some and i traded some i always keep one each though um same with the the Sunshine Mint ones, I had a few of those and I sold, that's my, my last one, but definitely going to keep it. This one I was trying to see if I could tone in a, in a leather wallet and I left it in there for months and it didn't do anything. And then as I was saying in a different video, I pulled it out of the leather wallet and I dropped it into a, a wooden stump change container that I have and left it there for a couple of weeks and I noticed, oh geez, look at that, it's toning very nicely, so... Very, very cool. I pulled it out of there. I stopped its toning, put it in a, in a case here. And yeah, Golden State Mint. That's number seven. Number eight, the Pamp Freedom one. That one also didn't have the Indian hat on the back, so I have seen them before. I haven't picked it up. Same with number nine, the Mint ID one. I have seen those. Doesn't have the Indian hat on the back, so I didn't pick any of those up. Number ten, your CNT mining one. That one I was a fan of, uh, Silver and Cigars. I definitely want to pick that one up uh, when I see it, that little two mint mark. I can see actually some on a site right now for bidding. Um, 
they'll probably go above what I'm willing to pay but I'm gonna keep uh, an eye out for those CNT mining ones uh, number 11 the Sahi I have the Sahi one here pretty much exactly the same as what you guys showed there we go and number 12 your warrior that one was same I've seen the warrior one um, it just has a different design than the traditional Indian head so I haven't picked it up number 13 this one is your high relief you were talking about uh, silver and cigars I picked this one up this is the one I believe I picked up at app max and this one you didn't know where it came from that is the monarch precious metals mint mark right there that little crown with a, I don't know, it's almost like a globe on the top of it let's zoom in so we can see it a little better I don't know exactly what it is on the top of it I'm blind but yeah that's the monarch precious metals mint mark and I believe I got this at Atmex a couple years ago could be wrong but that's where I remember seeing it there that's where I remember buying it so that's where that one comes from just so you know silver and cigars I did write that in a comment so you know uh, that is number 13 number 14 that silver and cigars had was the Grand Buffalo one. I don't have that one either. That one wasn't a traditional one. I've actually never seen that one before. I kind of did like that even though it didn't have the Indian head on it. Um, so I might get that one in the future. I do not know. Um, uh, Send to Georgie had one that I really really liked too. Um, his was the RMC Mint. Um, that one um, looked really really cool and I would definitely keep my eyes out for that one um, I saw another one when I was looking on some sites had a star mint mark on it a um, couple different variations of the star mint mark might throw some pictures up in the video here um, I want to pick those ones up too those ones looked really really cool it's the only one that I have that uh, Silver and Cigars didn't have and that Send to Georgie did have and thankfully I watched his video first because his video says this one's from the European Mint and I didn't know where this one was from I know I'd picked it up at one of the various uh, mints that I've purchased from but I was not sure because I don't see any mint mark on it so Send to Georgie says this one is from the European Mint dated there 2023 exactly the same as his um, just like he says kind of a weak weak strike on that especially on the Indian head face there so not my favorite but I like the different variations and that equals seven for me and hopefully I will get a bunch of the new ones in the future um, one thing that I wanted to mention um, for anyone that's still <laughs> listening to this video um, one thing that I wanted to mention I'm probably gonna make a separate video on it at some point was that the uh, CIBC precious metal site has gone offline it looks like they shut it down there's a message saying it is no longer available you still can purchase from there um, currently they don't have a lot of products they never have um, but I've been noticing they've been taking a lot of products off their site they only have seven collector silver items I think four gold items right now and like four silver items that aren't collector items on their site and yeah as they seem to sell stuff it seems to have been disappearing and like I say the site isn't available anymore if you want to actually see their site now you have to be a member and you have to log in with your mobile app and click the link there and it it redirects you if you try to go to the the site that it redirects you to and just a regular web browser it doesn't work um, I've been trying it just for a giggle just to see so that's kind of interesting to me I'm wondering if they're going slightly out of the uh, precious metal business or what they're doing it just seems uh, odd that their you know items have been disappearing and that uh, that the site uh, has been um, 
you know, taken offline and only available for the mobile app now. So, anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for listening to me ramble. Remember, it doesn't cost you a single piece of silver or gold to like and subscribe. You guys mean the world to me. Happy stacking, eh?